Hi, I'm here with Ken Laughlin from the Butler Farm Show. And Ken, you are the president of the board of directors, is that correct? Yes, I am, yeah. All right, how long have you been involved with the Farm Show? I've been on the Farm Show board for 30 years. I've been involved with it since, I'll bet, 35 years. I used to share there when I was in high school. Aw. So I've been around it all my life, yeah. And from what I was reading the history about the Butler Farm Show, which is so impressive, it started back in like 1947? The first gathering was 1947. There was a bunch of local people that wanted to have a plowing contest. And so they wanted to involve the city folk, the country folk, and, and the farmers to educate each other on what the city people do and what the f country people do and how it all works together. And then in 19, it went so well in 47, in 1948, we started a, a, a regular formal Butler Farm, Farm Show, Show Incorporated, right. which is a nonprofit. Yes. I, it, from what I was reading, it was a, it's a now a nonprofit organization yes. and has this strong history. And unfortunately, with a lot of things, things got canceled last year. But now you're back this year and bigger than ever. Is it yep. the 73rd? 73rd year, yeah. All right. So what yep. makes this year special or different from previous years? And what are the same, what are some things that people can experience that they've also had in the past? Yeah, well, for, for starters, it's make it special as we're going to have it this year. Yay! <laughs> yeah, that's a, it's a big event for Butler. It's, it's like a homecoming, a, a family reunion, I think, for a lot of people. Uh, as far as special events, you know, one real special thing we're having this year is that there's a Tomb of the Unknown Soldier oh. uh, traveling display that's okay. coming to the farm show. They'll be there Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. And it was setting up right at the main, main gate there. Okay. There's actually a, a guard on duty 24 hours a day. It's just like the tomb in Washington. Right, right. It'll be, a, it's, it's a super display we were able to get this year. Okay, was that, whose idea was that? Was that something uh, that somebody saw and said that would be a really cool they thing? They actually contacted us. Did they, they? They were traveling. They're going from, from Maine to Virginia. And okay. they have a couple of days to lay over. So they they saw us, What we got an event going on. So they, they uh, that got sounds a hold of us. They would work out for us. And we, we made every effort we could to get them in there so they have three days okay. they can spend, so we're going to give it to them, yeah. So, Ken, you said they're going to be there Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. Right. So let's tell our viewers, the farm show is August the 9th through the 14th. Yeah. And obviously it's at the Butler Farm Show grounds. Mm -hmm. And the gate opens every day at what time? 8 o'clock. Okay. Yeah. And people can hang out and have fun and go see everything, yeah. experience <clears throat> the farm show, and it closes every night at 11. Yep. And... What kind of things can the guests participate in? What can they see? <laughs> it's probably a short list to tell you what they can't see. Okay, good. <laughs> but uh, there's everything. We have magic shows going on every day, you know, three times a day. We have a puppet show going on three times a day. Okay. We have roving entertainment that goes on, along with all the 4-H displays, the home economics, the, all the livestock, and uh, all the butler businesses. There's a lot. Of, we have over 200 businesses that come into the show and set up in the green buildings and, and around the, the showgrounds to display their their commodities and their their services. Okay. So it's a lot of lot a lot of, of opportunities to participate. Yeah. Right. For sure, as yeah. a business or just as a guest, and I know that there are special events that are going to be held every night in the grandstand. Yeah, we have every night we have a big event in the grandstands. You know, on Monday nights we're going to have our we haven't done it for quite a few years. We're bringing our mini modified tractors back in on Monday night. Okay. And then uh, on Tuesday night, we have the big truck and tractor pull coming in, which is, is a big, real big event for everyone. All right. And on Wednesday, we have a, the four wheel drive truck and tractor pulls. Everybody likes a motor. Oh, everybody you know, likes, the yes. The louder and smokier, the better. <laughs> okay. And then on Thursday night, we're going to have a, a figure eight race in there, which is a combination demolition derby race all in one. They're driving around a track and trying not to hit each other. But And then Friday is our big demolition derby. That's always a, a big draw for us. And yeah. then on Saturday, we'll have the uh, semi-trucks and tractor, uh, semi-trucks and triaxle poles. Okay. And I did see the Wrangler Band is going to be performing also on Thursday yeah. night. So there's yeah. just so many fun things to participate in. I know I love to go to the farm show for the food. <laughs> what do you like That's, to eat at the farm show? Oh... Uh, Everything. Everything. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's, uh, you know, one of our biggest draws is the, the donut guy up at the corner. You okay. Know, when, you just, there's always a line for donuts. When you get ready to leave, and leave at night, there's probably 50 people in line waiting to get donuts before they go home at night. Wow. Uh, yeah, and there's all kinds. There's, there's John the Greek there with his uh, gyros and, and gyro salads and 
Denny and Pearl's there with their strong bullies, and you know Billy Boyer's there. He's a local guy. He brings you know his ice cream in, and there's a there's this. Uh, I hate to name people because I know I miss people. Oh, that's all right. You know, Fairground Market's there with, with all his stuff. And there's just, there's so much, whatever you're hungry for, it'll be there. Oh, I'm yeah. sure. I know. Yeah. That yeah. is a lot of fun. Yeah. And tickets are $8 for Monday. Correct. Correct. And then the rest of the week, it's $10. Yes. But tell everybody what they get for that. Yeah, for all the gate admissions, it's pay one price. So when you come in, you get, you know, all the events all the rides, and you get to go to the uh, grandstands for any, any entertainment in the grandstands. Just you know, once you're in the gate, it's it's everything's free. I know. So everything's it's always we try and run a family show so we can set it up so the, the family guy can come in and bring his kids in and have have them go home happy and not being upset because they didn't get to do this and get to do that. So right, we, it's all yeah. very very affordable. Yeah. And I know my kids are older, but when they were little, especially, they loved all the different rides. And I'm sure that even still would like to ride on some of those rides today. Yeah, yeah, the, the rides are great. We have Bottle <clears throat> Bob Usman's comes in. He's a, from central Pennsylvania is mm -hmm. where he's located. He comes in and does our rides for us. Real nice job. He had, you know, they're safe. There's safety inspections done every two hours on all the rides. Uh, he does a nice job with the rides, yeah. So I'm curious, how many people in the past, I mean, this year we'll see what happens, and we're going to have a lot of people, I know that. But how many people do you usually attend an event like this throughout the week typically we about 50,000 people for the week 50,000 yeah. people so it's we're hoping to have at least that this year you know without having last year we're, right oh we're you're gonna have you're gonna have 50 <laughs> you're gonna have more than 50 we're hoping yeah because it's a great event that supports Butler County so we really are grateful yeah good thank you oh you're welcome and I also came across that you have a younger group called the Butler Jun Junior yeah there are board of directors that yeah. are preparing to take over right they're we instituted this program about five or six years ago. It's, it's called our Junior Board, and they they are basically running their own show. You know, we they're all in charge of a certain area of the, of the farm show grounds and work with the senior board members. And uh, it's one of the leading leading junior board organizations with, throughout the state, actually. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> well, I think that's wonderful, and I encourage all of us to participate in the upcoming Butler Farm Show and the 73rd, right? Yep. Okay. And I know they can check you out on butlerfarm.com. Butler Farm Show, our website, uh, tickets available on the website, uh, through, through show flicks. You can buy you know, tickets online and through our Facebook page. You know, all the information is on our, our website, so please get on there and, and See what you want to see. All right. Well, thank you again for coming. Thank you. And go out and support the local Butler Farm Show. Thank you.